Welcome back to another Europe Chronicles. After a few days in Vienna, as you saw in the last Chronicles, we set off to Munich where we really got to relax from our busy couple of weeks running around different cities. Here, we found comfort lounging in parks, sharing amazing meals, and especially in taking advantage of our hotel room, which was such a nice mid-trip treat. Munich was such a wonderful destination. It's crazy how things change. We hopped on the train, passing through the most beautiful countryside towns and falling in and out of sleep before later arriving at our hotel. Pip and I got the romantic suite with a nice glass shower showcased in the center of the room. Showering was anything but private during our stay here. We took a moment to settle in before heading out to grab some food. You're naked. <laughs> I want to see their room. This is <laughs> the shower. The shower. <laughs> is yours it's like tucked in? I'm so excited to be here. She's wearing her like green, it's like fancy. Outfit, Unif, Pippa's skirt, thrifted, Mathy or something. First, we walked through Victualen Market, a huge farmer's market with fresh produce and local goods, flowers, and food. I got this focaccia caprese sandwich from one of the booths, and it was amazing. Oh, oh my god. Ones that, like, aren't, like, so excited. Yum. The girls were craving poke bowls, so we went to Heartbeat so that they could get their fix. Starbucks and we're shopping. <laughs> really exploring the city today. Well, this is our tradition on the first day. We, we always, always go, go shopping. shopping. Yeah. Because we're kind of just killing time until the first official day. We get Take breakfast, advantage. do stuff. Yeah. Because we're always so tired after training. Yeah. Yeah. Subdued? We're going to subdued. Yay. I'm really excited. Back at the hotel. Everyone went to get snacks downstairs. I've been sleeping. I'm about to journal. These past few days, like I haven't been able to eat normally. Ugh, I've been feeling really awful, but taking advantage of the hotel room. We haven't really had alone time in a while, so it feels good to just be alone in a room. After wandering around for a bit longer, we retreated back to the hotel to take advantage of the privacy and comfort we hadn't had much access to thus far in our travels. I journaled a bunch and ultimately had a much needed early night. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I have to shut, like wash my hair. We woke up the next day super energized and eager to discover Munich more since we hadn't done much the day before. After breakfast, Pippa and I accidentally stole a Diet Coke from our hotel. I just got complimentary Diet Coke from Fleming's Hotel. Shout out. Thank you. Ava, what are you wearing today? Same thing as yesterday. Brandy, Brandy Zara. Zara. I'm wearing flip flops too, which is bold, but it's because I have a like, farmer's tan. Whoa. Yeah, it's gross. Oh my god, Eva. Also, I have like a blister, ew. So right now we're gonna walk to the English Garden, walk around there, go see the surfers. It's gonna be really hot today. 33. I'm gonna die. That kid must think we're crazy. Okay, wait, should, I, should we do transition? Oh, okay. It's our favorite Harry Styles song. <laughs> Then we walked to the English Garden, which is similar to Central Park. It's huge and has a bunch of different bodies of water. It's filled with people, simply picturesque. There were ducks everywhere and swans swimming in the water, which are beautifully terrifying. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely not. 
Oscar's gonna attack us. Then we arrived at the ice pack wave where the surfers come to surf on the recurring wave. This was super fun to watch. We probably stood there for half an hour looking at the surfers come and go. On our way to find a spot by the river, we stopped for a quick popsicle because it was such a hot day. You guys are leaving, I know. <laughs> People were jumping into the ice back river and letting the current carry them from one end of the park to the other which looked really fun However, apparently it was much scarier than it appeared The girls jumped in and immediately started panicking because they had no control over where they were going Getting out of the water was no easy feat Bye Oh wait, it's, 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 it's on your back. If you guys have seen the movie Bridge to Terabithia, you know Leslie dies, she goes on the rope and the rope snaps and she falls in the water and dies. And I thought that's what was happening to me. I love it. Hungry, we walked to Le Zoo Dumpling for lunch, where we got an assortment of colorful dumplings. Unfortunately, these were much prettier than they tasted, but they still did the job. We loved the park so much, we decided to head back to take another dip and sit in the sun for a bit longer. I felt like I was in a movie and everyone around me was a paid extra, smiling and swimming and tanning. Everything just looked and felt so perfect. It was such a pleasant day. burning my back. Love the park. Love the park. They just all jumped in. They've almost drowned. Yeah. It was honestly really f***ing scary. When you're looking, you're like, oh, it's not that strong. And then you're in yeah. and the current just takes you. And apparently there was like this intersection. One direction was the right direction. And one was like, do not swim, yeah. death. And Pippa went through that. No, we all went there. No, no, no. Ava. It just like, the river. Oh, you're not supposed to swim in this. No. Yeah. People just do it. Because we're like living on the edge. Like, I'm happy I didn't do it. I would have drowned, so. I think thing. you would have. Yeah, and these little children are doing it. I don't want to see that. Show them my toe. That's what pulling me out of the water. <laughs> Ava. We scootered home, which was so much fun. We got to pass through the most beautiful neighborhoods with grand buildings and trees everywhere. I feel like I slept seven hours. I think we were like out for like two hours. Yeah. Now we're gonna go get food and then we're gonna come back, get ready super quick. Pre in the hotel room. Oh, we should have taken this elevator the whole time. And then we are gonna go out. Pip and I had the lazily brilliant idea of grabbing pizza at the train station food truck across from a hotel and found out after eating most of it that it had mold on it. Butterbub. Good. Then we got ready for the night and I tried to do something a little different this time in terms of makeup, rubbing black eyeshadow on my eyes in good German goth fashion, if that's actually a thing. Preying in the hotel was really fun and we eventually went out to Nurem, this massive club, to party. I see something, it's coming up on the horizon, oh. Let me well. Story 
Story Club. Near him? Wait, he's cut. I think bouncer's ready. Hey, na, 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 na. Please, won't you come over? Let me get to know you. Hey, na, 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 na. Delve into emotion. Leave us in this moment. Yeah. Basically, this is a recap oh, of last night. Wait, you have it? Yeah, I stole it from them. And then Brie and I took some. I Ew, know. this guy, this, I hate it. <laughs> Ew. I know. And apparently he was, oh. and he said, he asked I was like, no. <laughs> The next morning, Pip and I had a wholesome journaling sesh. Much needed to be said about the night before, so naturally we took pen to paper to spill the tea. It was really funny. We did all this while listening to Harry's new album, On Repeat. Pip was probably his biggest fan of all time. Do you Last night, Pip and I fell asleep to Harry Styles' new album at 3 a.m. We went to Nurem. What? <laughs> it had so much potential. I thought it was like a fun club. I liked the vibes. Is that my phone? After we walked around searching for pizza and I found this place and walked all the way to it and it was closed. Yeah. Pippa was really upset at me. And then I went to bed hungry like a Shh. child. Like a hung- wait. What? <laughs> I spent two hours at the breakfast buffet and this woman kept bringing me different smoothies and I got refills of banana chips. I even brought some up to my room. What? Just. Today we're going to Nymphenburg. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna get ready now and see you later. Oh, I Chilling by the window. To the window, to the wall. I am loving this view. I'm loving this weather. Why are you stalking my saved and shaming me? That's my favorite. I don't like the others. I like the chewing sounds. Pippa's shopping for her grad, looking for a dress, and it's been a big deal. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Isn't it hilly? Us giving Haley, Haley would stay here all day. That's actually not the prettiest view, but I'm scared I'm gonna drop my camera. Okay. I love the park we went to yesterday with like all the young people and the sun. I burnt my back, but I always burn something. I burnt my flip-flop shape onto my feet. My flip-flop shape. These windows are kind of dangerous. Next we're doing sunscreen. Kula SPF 50. Mm -hmm. You guys love it. Looks like weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dress Pippa because she's incapable of doing things right now. She's been sitting here for hours. Okay. There's nothing in there. Oh! You know what I can wear? Can you show it to me please? Like the P shirt. Show me. P1, P1, the P shirt. The one that I wrapped my pee person. Oh gosh. Wait, maybe is this the board? Oh, we have an ironing board. Oh, what? Also, Bree's bringing me a top because this is not, this I'm giving grandma. So Pippa's gonna iron. And I'm thinking with that button up shirt. I think you should wear like a short skirt to make it look sexy and fun. Okay, catch on the flip side. Thread up, but it's from free people. <laughs> so this is Bree's top from Urban. And Pippa finally went for a Matilda Jerf vibe today. Three people, check, New Balance. Cute. I love this outfit. Look at Ava's back. 
Oh wait, you can't They're see. They're there. After hours of lounging around and taking so long to get ready, we finally made it out into the real world. Prepared for a lot of walking, the first store we happened upon was this thrift store with so many cool knickknacks and antique furniture. Bri and I got two euro necklaces we thought were super cute. Oh, yours is so, so pretty. Made it to a park. The weather is insane. After a good 40 minutes of walking, we took a break to eat at this random park we found. We had a mini picnic with things that we got from the hotel buffet, continued listening to Harry Styles, and took in the sun. This was such a sweet moment. I swear all our communal highlights involve a pretty park. We were all suckers for that. Wait, I Loving like this neighborhood. So we just went to this really nice park, took a break, listened to Harry Styles, and now we're gonna go get a snack. We're gonna go to a cafe. And we're making our way to the Nymphenburg Palace. We're gonna chill in the park, see the gardens, and then maybe go inside, depending what we're feeling. Yay! We eventually made it to the Nymphenburg Palace where we roamed around the premises, taking in the majestic architecture and greenery surrounding it. Deer, which made me feel like we were in a princess movie. has a new fit on. Cute. Is that all thrifted? Okay. I'm still wearing breeze top with my unif mini skirt. That night we went to Kago, this Thai restaurant for dinner. We had an earlier dinner so we were able to enjoy our food during golden hour which was so lovely. I tried this tofu cashew curry rice dish, which was so delicious, and the girls got variations of noodle dishes and pad thai. Hey, do you remember me? Such a new memory. We told our waiter we were from Canada, and I think he really vibed with that because he gave us a bottle of sake on the house. Cheers. I'd never had it before, and it was so tasty. Mm, I love this. It tastes like really sweet wine. You are beautiful. And today was like the best day. Yeah, today and yesterday. Next stop is Florence, where we really had a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. 